I think everybody knows about TEDx. It's sort of a big presence on campus. Part of bringing in an undergraduate speaker is to have talk with a little bit of a different personality. So the other speakers are pretty different. Definitely far cry from undergraduates. They're all masters in their respective fields. But um, this is to give the audience a taste of something a little different. The talk is centered around the idea that pornography is the new tobacco. I think I'm sort of in a unique situation where I've seen a lot of uh, this community and um, what it can do. And I've been fortunate enough to actually help some people. So I'm a little unnerved that for the rest of my life when somebody searches for me on Google, this will be like the first thing. But if this helps even one person out there, uh, I think that'll make it worth it. The interview, it was, it was stressful actually. I've never been on camera formally before, so I got in all the bright lights asking the usual like interview questions and then I got to uh, actually go through the five minutes of the talk. And an incredible community has grown around this idea. I got an email, I was actually sitting right over there. Um, I sort of let it sink in. I was like, no way, thank you guys so much. This is unbelievable, which was really from the heart. Writing the five minute version turned out to be a very different experience than writing a full-fledged talk. The interview was really uh, just getting the ideas across as efficiently as possible. So instead of just adding to it, it really involved uh, like sort of rewriting the talk but I think we're pretty happy with uh, how it came out. We've been in the public speaking lab several times a week uh, for a couple weeks. It's been called one of the fastest moving, most global experiments ever unconsciously conducted. It's come along nicely. They're super helpful. They don't mince words, but it's all for the best. Try to time better, like, for example, the last big quote that you yeah. did, I think it's too soon. When I first saw the email that they were looking for undergrads, I was sort of happy, but also sort of like, there's no way I'll ever actually get that. Like, there are tons of people out there who have really interesting ideas, and I'm just one in a million. But um, lo and behold, now I'm here. <laughs>